let me just say, first of all, how, how absolutely pleased I am to, to be able to be with you. Uh, for me, it's in the evening here. Um, and, uh, and how great a privilege it is also to, uh, to follow the words of Shishu Chen, my very beloved student. 首先，我要说，我非常高兴能够跟大家在一起，在我的时区，我现在是晚上，而且我非常荣幸能听到刚刚呃世首的分享，他是我，他是我的学生。I might say that uh, Shishu has has been one of my very best students over the past thirty-eight years of teaching. Wow! And uh, he has every promise of being a, a true leader uh, in uh, in. Biblical studies, theological education, and the church in China. Hmm.是手是我在过去三十八年的教学生涯当中，呃，非常非常优秀的学生之一。然后我相信他一定会成为一个很好的领袖，不只是在呃在神学教育方面、圣经研究方面，而且是在教会当中成为很好的领袖。Uh, I do want to say just a, a begin by, by giving uh, just a few words of introduction. Uh, I count it a great, a great privilege to have been born and raised in a Christian home. It was a home and a church where the Bible was loved, cherished, and preached and taught. 呃，这个家它不只是个家，它也是一个教会，因为在这个家当中是对圣经有非常啊深的热爱，而且有教导，而且有传讲圣经的话语。I was especially impressed as a child, even with the power of the preached word. 就是在我很小的时候，我就感受到呃神的话语被传讲的发出来的大能。I saw how it was able to transform lives tremendously. When I became a teenager and considered my lifelong vocation, I came to believe that God was calling me to Christian ministry. And I did believe then, too, that that central to my preparation for Christian ministry, which I took at that time to be pastoral ministry, was a study of God's Word. When I went to college, I came under the instruction of a dear professor, uh, Dr. Ralph Thompson. Dr. Ralph Thompson. He actually introduced me to the inductive approach to the study of the Bible. Dr. Thompson himself had earlier been a student of Dr. Robert Trana at the Biblical Seminary in New York City. So when it came time for me to decide where to go to seminary, um, one of the deciding factors for me was uh, that Dr. Trina at that time was teaching at Asbury Theological Seminary. 当我在决定去哪里读神学的时候，有一个很重要的因素是，呃，那个呃，Trainer老师他当时是在阿斯伯里来教书。So I came under the instruction of Dr. Trainer here as a student at Asbury Theological Seminary. 所以我就去阿斯伯里神学院，呃，受教育这个Trainer老师。One of the things that characterize the uh, the teaching of Dr. Thompson and Dr. Trena was the power of their teaching in the classroom. Uh, 
I came to realize that, 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 that the sense of the power of God's word that we experienced in, the, in these classrooms was ultimately due not to uh, the teaching uh, expertise of these men, but rather to the inductive approach that they adopted. 我发现他们的课堂当中，呃，神话语发出来这种能力，呃，并不是跟他们的专业，呃，这种技巧有关，而是跟他们，呃，使用了归纳法来研究圣经有关。Let me give you just two examples. 我给大家举两个例子。Doctor Thompson used to talk about his experience in a class taught by Doctor Howard Tillman Kiss of Princeton Theological Seminary. Uh, Thompson 老师他上课的时候经常会讲到他在普林斯顿神学院受教于另外一位Kiss老师的一个新经历 Dr. Kiss taught inductive uh, Bible study at Princeton uh, 这个Kiss老师是在普林斯顿神学院来教导归纳式研经 Dr. Thompson told the story of sitting in a classroom uh, uh, in which Dr. Kiss was teaching on the book of Jeremiah. Thompson老师他就分享到他坐在Kiss老师的教室里是在讲,那课堂是在讲耶利米书. At the end of the class period, uh, no one in the class was able to move out of his or her seat for a full 30 minutes. 在课堂的最后,在场的所有的学生,没有一个能够 在三十分钟之内，就是移动离离开他的位置，不想离开。They were simply transfixed by the message of Jeremiah. 他们就好像是被耶利米书的信息给定住了。A second experience I'll mention has to do with an experience I had in one of Dr. Trainer's classes at Asbury. 第二个故例子是我在 Trainer 特纳老师的课堂里面，在 Asbury 学院呃上课的时候的一个经历。at the end of, uh, of, of a class period, two students sitting in front of me said, uh, uh, had this conversation. Uh, uh, one student said to the other, can you believe this? The other student replied, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm awfully glad I'm here. 另外一个同学回答说：“我我不知道，但是我非常非常感恩，我坐在这里。”So I came to believe that that actually God was calling me to to teach the scriptures and specifically induct the inductive approach to the study of the scriptures. 所以我就呃很确定说神是要呼召我去教导圣经，呃而而且是以归纳式的方式来研究圣经。and so when I finished my, my own PhD studies uh, at Union Theological Seminary in Virginia, uh, I uh, returned to Asbury as a, as a, uh, as a professor. And I have been teaching uh, inductive uh, Bible study here at Asbury since 1984. 我是从一九八四年至今就一直在阿斯伯利神学院里教导归纳式研经。It's been a wonderful experience. 这是非常美好的一个经历。Especially meaningful is 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 seeing students come alive and become excited about the study of the scriptures. 有其中最棒的一点就是看到学生好像活过来，对于研究神的话语非常的有热情。and to see how they are able to, uh, to come to a deeper knowledge and, and, um, and relationship with Jesus Christ through this study of the scriptures. I, I want to say something uh, here about, about what inductive Bible study is and really about how it developed. 我首先要讲一下到底什么是归纳式研究，而它是怎么来展开的。Uh, inductive Bible study movement began at the end of the 19th century. 
呃，归纳式言情运动是在十九世纪十九世纪末开始的。Especially with the work of William Rainey Harper and W. W. White. 尤其他是由呃、uh, Harper 和 White 这两个人来发动的。Uh, William Rainey Harper was uh, a was uh, a professor at Yale University. William Harper 他是耶鲁大学的一个教授。And was also the founding president of the University of Chicago. 也是芝加哥大学的创立者之一。He was a prominent biblical scholar. 他是一个非常知名的圣经学者。But he and also his student W. W. White were concerned about biblical scholarship as it was being done at that time. 呃，但是他和他的学生怀特就呃有点担担忧当时圣经研究的一个状况。At that time, biblical scholarship, as it was taught in seminaries,、uh, tended to deal with issues that we might say lie behind the text rather than the biblical text itself. 当时的呃神学研究对于圣经的研究，他们研究的对象是圣经背后的一些东西，呃呃因素，而不是圣经文本本身。Uh, particularly, they were concerned to to identify sources that lie behind the final form of the text, and uh, to uh, deal with those earlier sources rather than with the biblical text itself. 当时他们呃这些这类研究关注的更多的是圣经最终形式的这个圣经它的来源，所以他研究的是那些更早的那些来源，而不是圣最后的这个最终形式的圣经文本。And and and W. W. White and William Rennie Harper and others were concerned that that kind of a focus actually robbed the Bible of its of its vitality, its ability to transform lives. Uh, William Harper and White, and other people, the time, they were afraid that this focus on biblical research would make the Bible lose its vitality, lose its ability to change lives. They insisted that 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 students needed above all else、uh, instruction as to how effect how effectively to study and understand the the Bible itself, not、uh, those elements that lie behind the text. So they just want to prove that the Bible itself is not the Bible itself. 圣经背后的这些来源，这些问题是非常对学生来说是非常有效的。他们应应该去学习圣经文本，应该去明白圣经文本。And so they that that is what they insisted upon and what they emphasized in their teaching. 所以在他们的教导当中，就是非常强调这一点。Now, although this was uh this happened at the end of the 19th century. 虽然这个是发生在19世纪末。Actually, the principles that they were insisting upon go back to the to the earliest、uh, ages of the church. 但是他们所坚持的这个原则其实可以追溯到呃早期教会的时候，更早的时候。So these were not principles that、uh, or procedures that just popped up at at the end of the 19th century. 所以这些原原则不是说十九世纪末突然冒出来的。It was a retrieval. Of the wisdom of biblical interpretation that the church had 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 amassed over the centuries. This is returning to the church over the past so many years of history. Uh, a kind of wisdom for learning the Bible. But had in some measure forgotten or set aside. But sometimes, it was forgotten or set aside. And so, uh, uh, White actually established a seminary. White actually established a seminary called the Biblical Seminary in New York. Uh, White, he actually established New New York's Seminary of Biblical Studies. And and from that center went out, uh, the inductive Bible, uh, study of the、uh, the inductive study of the Bible. From uh, this uh, seminary, this center also started to spread. Uh, 研归纳式研经 ，and it spread around the 
the, the country, United States, and actually around the world. And was actually adopted by, by some of the great scholars of the 20th century, such as Brevard Childs, great Old Testament scholar from Yale. But uh, inductive Bible study was also adapted to uh, lay people. So it was taught on, on the one hand at some of the most prestigious universities and theological seminaries in the world. But on the other hand, uh, could be adapted uh, so that even uh, lay people uh, who had no formal training could make some use of it. So essentially, inductive Bible study is a comprehensive, holistic approach to the study of the Bible. So that attempts to allow the Bible itself to speak to us on its own terms. So as to arrive, so that we could arrive at an accurate, original, penetrating interpretation and contemporary appropriation. So uh, and Dr. Bible study insists that the very nature or character of the Bible itself should determine how we study it. And Dr. Bible study also insists that the critical issue uh, in the study of the scripture, it has to do with considering how best to derive meaning from the biblical text. Uh, it's not enough to know what the Bible says. Uh, we must we must know what it means. And the fact of the matter is, when we, when we talk about uh, the authority of Scripture, what we really have in mind is submitting ourselves to the message of Scripture. So that we, um, uh, uh, so that we need to give attention how best to de to derive meaning, the meaning of scripture, the message of scripture from its words. So that is an absolute necessity. So that Bible study method is a theological category. And reflecting upon the method for the study of the Bible is a moral obligation on the part of Christians, we believe. So that's what we're all about. Uh, uh, How best to study the Bible in order to ascertain as accurately and profoundly as possible its meaning. Now, in our 
consideration of uh, developing a method that reflects the very nature of the Bible itself. 我们呃，当我们想到说要找到一个方法，如何能够呃让圣经它自己的意思能够展现出来。We believe that this means first of all. 首先，我们认为。A focus upon the final form of the text. 要关注呃、uh, 文本就是它最终的形式。That is to say, the Bible itself as it comes to us and as we have it. 也就是说，圣经就是我们现在手上拿到的这样的一本圣经的形式。We can talk about this in terms of the canonical form or the canonical shape of the text. 也就是圣经的正典形式。Not only in the 19th century, but also through the 20th century and into our own time, a great deal of Bible study does not focus upon the text itself. 不只是十九世纪末，就是从二十世纪直到我们今天，有很多的圣经研究，它不是在关注圣经文本本身。But rather、uh, wishes to focus upon、uh, things that lie behind the text, like sources. 而是去关注圣经背后文本背后的那些因素。Quite often, for example, the study of the Pentateuch. 通常对五经的研究。Uh, focus attention upon dissecting the text of the first five books of of the Bible into sources、uh, that presumably lie behind、uh, lie behind the the, the Pentateuch. 他们就会把这圣经的。头五卷书的内容给它分割开来，按照来源来来分裂排列，然后再来对这些来源进行研究。But in fact, we cannot be sure that these that these sources ever existed. 但是我们都不能确定到底这些来源到底存不存在。We acknowledge that they might have, but we cannot be sure that they did. And and even if they did, we cannot be sure that we can ascertain or can reconstruct、uh, these sources. 我们不确定这些来源到底存呃存不存在，即使它存在的话，我们也不能够确定它就是以现在这样的方方式来排列的。Moreover, even if we could be sure with regard to these sources uh, that uh, we might reconstruct behind the text, uh, these sources would not have the uh, would not have the uh, the status or the authority of canonical scripture in the church. 即使我们所重建的这些来源，它呃是存在的，呃，它也并不具有我们教会圣经正典所拥有的那个地位。So the only text that we have that exists is the final form of the text, that which we find in our Bibles. 所以我们有的今天实际存在的唯一的这个文本，就是我们手上的这个圣经，是教会所接受为正典的这个圣经。And that is also the only form of the text. That the church has ever considered to be inspired scripture. 而且圣呃教会呃所承认的是神所默示的，也就只有这一本。So that is why we focus upon the text as we have it. 所以这是我们为什么要关注我们首先我们手上有的这个圣经的文本。Now, a second emphasis in inductive Bible study is a focus upon the form of the text. 归纳式研究的第二个关注点是文本的形式。Inductive Bible study recognizes that that in the final analysis, you cannot separate content from form. 归纳式研究呃认为呃我们在研究圣经的时候不能够把内容跟形式割裂开来。It is a fundamental principle of communication that. Content is communicated through form or structure. This is a transmission rule. It is the content is through form or structure communicated to us. So the the only way, and certainly the best way, to ascertain clearly what the inspired biblical writer is saying is to attend to、uh, how he says it. 所以要想确定，呃呃，受默示的圣经作者他的他所说的是什么，最呃最好的方式就是呃来看他说了什么，他是怎么、so, 最好的方式是看他是怎么说的。So it 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 is necessary for us then to give attention to the structure, or that is to say, the way in which the biblical writers have put things together. 
所以对我们来说很重要的一点，就是要去关注这个经文的结构，也就是作者如何把这些材料拼凑在一起。It is by attending to the way in which writers have related things to one another in their writings that we understand clearly and and、uh, fully what they intended to say to us. 我们明白了。作者呃所讲的这些事物之间的关系联系，我们才能够清晰完全的明白作者要对我们说什么。And and and all this attention to how things are are put together really really pertains to the issue of structure. 去关注这些事情是如何结合，最后拼在一起的，其实就是呃关注它的结构。Now another another major uh. Conviction of inductive study of the Bible is that the study of the Bible should focus upon the study of biblical books. 归纳式研经，另外一个关注点是强调呃圣经的书卷。Again, this reflects the nature of the Bible itself. 这也再一次强调反映了圣经本身的本质。Because it's very clear that the Bible was not written as one single book. 因为很清楚的一点是，圣经不呃，它不是只有一本书。But rather,、uh, the Bible is composed of a collection, or we might say, a library of books that that originally existed separately. 而是由一系列书卷，呃，是各自独立存在的书卷构成的一本书。So inductive Bible study then、uh, emphasizes the study of whole books. 所以，呃，归纳式研经它强调研究整卷书。And the interpretation of individual passages within their book setting. 而且是在在整卷书的背景之下，再去研究里面具体的一段经文。Now there is、uh, also、uh, another emphasis, I should say, in inductive Bible study. Uh, is that the study of the Bible must be, as I've already mentioned, comprehensive and holistic? Uh, 归纳式研经另外强调的一点就是我前面也提到过，呃，这个方法必须是全面的，必须是整全的。So that、uh, although we give attention, as we mentioned, primary attention to the study of books as wholes and to the way both books and individual passages are structured. 所以，我们既要关注呃这些整卷书的一个背景，以及呃在接下来去关注这些具体的经经文段落之间的结构。Nevertheless, we attend to also to historical matters. 我们与此同时也要去关注历史的一些因素。Because we recognize that passages do not simply have a literary context, that is to say, how they function. In their immediate context and broader book context. 嗯，呃，这也就是说，这个呃，圣经它不只是有文学背景，也就是当时呃这卷书的这个直接的背景。But also, they have a historical context. 而且还有呃大大的这个历史背景。And so we 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 need to become acquainted at the proper time in the proper way with relevant historical background. 所以我们要以合适的方式来，呃，明白，呃，这个圣，呃，是这卷书的它当时的历史背景是什么。And of course, uh, because the biblical, because biblical texts come to us in the form of language. 当然，呃，因为文本是以语言的形式来领导的。We need to attend to, uh, to, uh, the, to the, uh, to the grammar of individual sentences. 我们需要关注每一句话它的语法结构。And certainly, uh, uh, we, 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 because we recognize too that,、uh, that, that insight into the meaning of the Bible has, has been achieved by people over the centuries. 当然，我们也看到说，呃，圣对于圣经意思的一些见解。呃，在过去的历史当中，已经呃有很多人得出了他们的对圣经意义的一个理解。We find it really essential to become acquainted with the history of interpretation. 
，所以我们要非常的要去关注历史上的呃对圣经的一个解释。But we make use of the history of interpretation or the interpretation of others. So we, uh, can use these historical explanations or the historical explanations in order to aid us in our own direct study of the text. Is to help us to study the text directly. In other words, we do not consider, say, consulting commentaries as a substitute for our own study. But as a help for our own study of the text. 也就是说，呃，去了解这些过去的解释，不是替代我们自己研究圣经，而是来帮助我们，也辅助我们研究圣经。So really, it's 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 improper to think of inductive Bible study as one specific method alongside other methods of Bible study. 所以说，如果把是呃归纳式研经理解为呃跟其他呃研经呃一样的一种方法，那是不合适的。Matter of fact, you'll you'll notice that I have carefully avoided talking about the inductive Bible study method. 因为你也发现我是很谨慎的，不会把呃这归纳式研经称之为一种方法。Because it is not one method among others, such as So it cannot be set just alongside of things like form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method among others, such as form criticism or redaction criticism. Because it is not one method 它是一种呃，想要在最有效的一种节点，然后将文本研究，呃，每一个合理的方式都纳进来的一种方法。But in its opt in in its optimal time and its optimal place， 是以最有效的一个节点，以最有效的一个方式。So, I inductive Bible study includes every legitimate exegetical practice and every legitimate method. 所以，归纳式研究它是纳入了文本研究中每一个合理的释经解释，每一个呃方法。Employed at the optimal time and in the optimal way. 是以最用最有效的方式，然后也是在呃最有效的节点来加以运用。So there is nothing in inductive Bible study that is absolutely peculiar. 所以，呃，这个归纳式研究不是那么。呃，不能说它完全绝对的是非常注重细节的。The uniqueness of inductive Bible study has to do with its commitment to the final form of the text. 它的独特之处在于，它要致力于呃研究圣经最终的形式。Its commitment is in its emphasis upon book study. 它要研究呃书卷。Its commitment to Holistic study incorporating every uh, appropriate exegetical uh, practice and uh, method. It is to use a comprehensive approach to include every method in the study of the Bible. And in putting all of this together in a package that is most effective. And putting all of this together in a package that is most effective. And putting all of this together in a package that is most effective. And putting all of this together in a package that is most effective. And putting all of this together in a package that is most effective. Uh, so uh, that really is what I would say essentially what we have in mind in terms of inductive study of the Bible. Now I want to say a bit about the book Inductive Bible Study. First of all, let me say how Absolutely pleased I am, and Dr. Trainer would be if he were alive today. I know that that our book has been translated now into Chinese. 首先我要说，如果呃我跟我的合著者呃科纳他还在世的话，我自己也是这样子的深切的感受到，呃呃他已经翻成中文，这是非常好的，非常荣幸的一件事。It has been translated into into French, into.、Uh, 
uh, into Indonesian. Into Korean. Uh, and uh, is in the process of being translated into Japanese. Into Burmese. And I believe into Spanish. We are very gratified about this because although inductive Bible study happened to have been developed historically in North America, it is not tied to any one culture. Or language or language group. The principles and practices of inductive Bible study are really universal. Uh, For example, uh, the what we call structural relationships that we describe in our book. 比如说,我们书中讲到的一个概念是结构关系. Uh, we, uh, we have demonstrated uh, are not restricted uh, to any one language or culture, but are, but are found in all, in all cultures, in all languages, throughout all history. 我们发现它不只是局限于某一种。in fact, uh, W. W. White, before he founded the Biblical Seminary in New York, engaged in an extensive um, teaching um, um, uh, campaign in India. 他在印度, uh, and he was greatly encouraged at how at how at how these Indians um, became excited about the study of the Bible using the inductive approach. 那些印度人他们如何因为归纳式研究的方式而受到激励? And as a matter of fact, uh, uh, throughout the years, inductive Bible study has been taught and is this very day being taught in virtually every country of the world. 实际上,目前,这个归纳式研究已经在全球每一个国家都教导过。so uh, it should not be considered, should not consider that that inductive Bible study or our book is 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 appropriate only for for Westerners or for people who think in Western ways. So we should Now uh, I just might mention that uh, that our book begins has there are a number of sections to our book. The first section is theoretical foundations. Uh, where we set forth our, our convictions with regard to the nature of biblical hermeneutics. 就是, uh, we, uh, Emphasize that uh, that any understanding of biblical hermeneutics or the study of the Bible must be based upon the nature of the Bible itself in all aspects of its existence. So we consider what appears to us to be the nature of the Bible itself the nature of the of the student, that is to say, the reader of the Bible, and the relationship between them. So, uh, and out of a consideration of those realities, uh, we develop a number of characteristics of 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 good 
proper inductive study of the Bible. We got out, uh, how to. 呃，就是怎样的归纳呃研经方法，它是好的，是合适的，它有什么特征呢 ？So these considerations, what we call theoretical、uh, foundations, lay the groundwork then for the process of study of the study of the Bible that we present in the remainder of the book. 所以这个理论基础，它就为我们书这本书余下的这些呃描述的这个事情的过程提供了一个基础。Uh, there are basically four phases of Bible study as we present as we present it. 研究圣经有四个阶段 We begin with observation. 首先以观察开始 That has to do with observing what is in the text that we are studying. 这就是观察我们所研究的经文里面有什么 Induction, inductive,、uh, induction really involves the movement from evidence to conclusions. 归纳这个方法，它其实是从证据引出结论。In fact, the difference between inductive induction and deduction, or inductive Bible study and deductive Bible study. 呃，其实归纳和演绎，或者说归纳式研经和演绎式研经之间的差别。Is that inductive study is evidential study, whereas deductive study is presuppositional study. 就是归纳式研究，它是呃基于证据，而演绎式的，它是基于预设。So that、uh, in an in inductive study of the text, you begin with the text itself and reason from the 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 biblical text and the realities around the text to interpretive conclusions. 呃，也就是说，归纳是从经文文本出发，然后从中得出你要的结论。With a commitment to embrace or accept those conclusions wherever the evidence leads you。也就是说，你要去接受这些证据引引导你所得出的那一些结论。Whereas a deductive approach begins with certain presuppositions or assumptions, 而演绎式的方法，它是以一个预设、一个前设开始 ，and then reads a text or construes a text in order to、uh, to force the text to conform to those presuppositions with which we began. 他们读经的方式是呃，想要让从经文里面得出他们开始有的那个预设。Again, the inductive study of the text is interested in allowing the text to speak on its own terms, not our speaking into the text, but our hearing what the text wants to say to us. So, 归纳式研究它就是让经文对我们说话，而不是让我们呃对经文说我们要听的话，是我们要去听经文要对我们说什么。And it's for that reason that we begin with observation of the text itself. 但是基于这个原因，所以我们要从观察经文本身开始。Because is that is 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 through observation that we begin to collect evidence that serves as a basis for our conclusions about what the Bible means. 因为我们正是从观察里面得出证据，然后得出呃圣经的意思的这样的一个结论。And we attend to the Bible in the in in according to its various stages. 而且我们也是按照圣经不同的阶段来呃进行的。That's why observation involves, for one thing, the observation or the survey of the book as a whole. 所以这个观察呃，首先还呃，首先是对于整卷书它整体的一个观察。It includes also the observation or the survey of of say. Divisions or sections within a book. 而且包呃，然后再是对于呃书卷里面的分段的一些观察和概览。But also gives attention to a close reading, that is to say, observation of individual sentences or paragraphs. 呃，最后再是具体到一段经文或者是一句话的观察。And out of those, or on the basis of those observations. We generate questions. 基于这一些观察，我们就会产生问题 
These questions are directed at what these observations mean. 然后这些问题就是关于呃我们观察的到底是什么意思。Or perhaps better put, uh, uh, what we are observing means. 也就是我们观察到的这些内容它是什么意思。This then leads to the second phase of inductive Bible study, that is interpretation. This 就引我们到归纳式研究第二个阶段，就是解释。Interpretation is the process of answering those questions that occur to us as we observe the text. 解释就是回答我们在观察阶段所提的问题的这样的一个过程。And our that section of our book discusses various kinds of evidence. That are、uh, relevant for our answering these questions or interpreting the text. This part of the book discusses the explanation of the evidence in 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 the explanation of the evidence. Uh, we even discuss、uh, certain things that we ought to avoid、uh, in terms of faulty kinds of reasoning. Uh, we, in which we also talked about we need to, uh, um, do a good, uh, interpretation process to avoid some of these problems. These things can lead to faulty interpretation. These, uh, problems can lead to faulty interpretation. But we recognize too that interpretation is not the final. Outcome or goal of Bible study. But the explanation is not the goal of the Bible study. That that interpretation should lead to contemporary application or appropriation. And this explanation, this explanation, should should lead to contemporary application or appropriation. And that is the third phase that we discuss in our book. 这个就是呃，书里面讲到第三个阶段。We at we we explore in depth exactly how we can we 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 take the interpretation of passage and go about the process of thinking about how to apply it to our own lives and the lives of persons to whom we minister. 我们就要从解释经文里面得出的这些教导来思考。这些教导如何能够应用到呃当代的我们，或者是我们所服侍的人身上 ？And then the final phase is what we call correlation. 最后一个阶段我们称之为关联。This involves the process of bringing together the teaching or the interpretation of various passages and their application. 这个阶段，我们要把对于各呃，对于不同的呃书卷或者段落的这些教导，呃，这些原则，把它联合到一起。Throughout the Bible， 还有呃，就是包括全圣经的这些内容。To develop our own theology， 然后把这些内容引致到发展我们自己的神学。Our biblical theology leading ultimately to our systematic theology。就是从圣经神学，然后最终呃，一直到系统神学。And also our understanding of biblical ethics. 还有我们所说的呃，伦理学。So、uh, these are are just some of the things that I would highlight, both about inductive Bible study, and about our book. And、uh, I'm.、Uh, 嗯。所以这个也就是呃，我们这个书里面关于归纳式研究所要强调、所会提到的一些方面。And、uh, so I'm I'm really happy to address any questions that you might have, and、um, I'm going to、um, need a bit of assistance here in terms of whether、uh, I should I should wait for uh, for uh, uh, questions to come to me or. If I should go ahead now and at least begin answering some of the questions that have already been sent to me,、mm, maybe we should let the host to、uh, say something. Then we'll start the question and answer part. You you can answer the、uh, three questions first, and then、uh, we'll collect the questions from the audience today. All right, that sounds perfectly fine. So the first question that that came to me. 
is this. How does IBS, inductive Bible study, relate to other methods of Bible study? For example, theological interpretation, cultural historical approach, interpreting scripture through scripture, etc. 第一个问题是归纳式研经和其他的研经方法如释经、如神学诠释、文化历史路径已经解经等有何关联? Now, for example, what are the similarities and differences between inductive Bible study and other methods of Bible study, and what are the advantages of inductive Bible study as compared to other methods? 例如归纳式研经方法和其他研经方法的异同以及归纳式研经相对其他方法的优点? I, I think I've answered this in, in some measure already, and that is that, that IBS should not, inductive Bible study, I mean, should not be viewed as as a distinct method over against other methods. Uh, but as a whole, yeah, please. But as a holistic approach that attempts to incorporate every legitimate method into it. That really means then that, that these other methods in relation to IBS tend to be more narrow. 这也就是说，其他这一些呃方法跟释经也跟归纳式研经比起来，相对来说是更加的狭窄的。For example, cultural historical, the cultural historical approach, or what we might call sociological approach, tends to pick up and to emphasize certain aspects of Bible study. 比如说，呃，文化进入呃研经方法，它就是会呃挑圣经当中的一个方面。but in the process, other equally significant aspects are, are left aside. We don't want to leave aside any appropriate uh, uh, method for the study of the Bible. Now, when it comes to the interpretation of individual passages, uh, we believe that there are certain things that really always must be attended to. Uh, in a kind of foundational way. For example, uh, the, uh, the function of a passage within its book context. 也就是这个书卷的背景,它的这个功能。And the structure of the literary structure of passages. 以及这个经文的文学结构。But beyond that, some passages have interpretive, uh, place certain types of interpretive demands upon the reader. 呃，有些段落它可能对读者会有特殊的、特定的呃解读的要求。So uh, in the study of some passages, a uh, cultural background will be very important. 所以在呃研究某些段落的时候，文化背景是是会非常重要的。And but in other passages, not so important. 但是在另外一些段落里面，可能文化背景就没有那么重要。in the study of some passages, the Greek grammar will be highly significant for its meaning. But in other passages, what we call uh, the syntax of Greek sentences will not be so central. So the inductive approach really is is eclectic. It, it asks, with regard to any particular passage, what kinds of interpretive demands does this passage place upon me? And then we can go to our toolbox of these various exegetical methods or uh, various exegetical techniques and methods 
to, to, to make use of those tools that are most significant for a given biblical passage. Uh, this question actually raises also the issue of, of like scripture interpreting scripture. Uh, that is not so much a method as it is uh, as it is uh, a kind of evidence for interpreting scripture. Uh, can you repeat that sentence again? That is not so much uh, this business of scripture interpreting scripture through scripture is not so much a method as it is a practice. Uh, and that relates to one of the types of evidence that we emphasize in inductive Bible study. And that is what we call scriptural testimony. That is to say, asking how other biblical passages can illumine the meaning of our passage. So I could say more about this, and I'd be happy to follow up with further questions, but that's basically how I would answer that first question. Should I, I, I'll go ahead and with the second question then, if please. I may, I'll try to answer yes, briefly. Please, please. Does, does the use of inductive Bible study yield different biblical um, insights than the use of other Bible study methods for the same passage of Scripture? It may, in this sense, uh, by, by attempting to be comprehensive, holistic, and eclectic, uh, it should result in a fuller, more robust, more comprehensive interpretation. With regard to the third question that was posed, uh, what advice do you have for practicing inductive Bible study in our daily life? For example, devotions, leading Bible studies. Uh, let me say with regard to devotions, first of all. That, yes, with regard to devotions, first of all. Yes, 首先来讲灵修, that um that I personally don't think that we should draw a strong division between devotional reading of the Bible and more studious reading of the Bible. Uh, uh to be sure, there will be different targets of reading. 当然, but in my judgment, all good devotional reading should be thoughtful. And should to some extent give some attention to the principles of inductive study of scripture. 也都会关注到, 呃, 归纳式研经的某一些方面, Whereas also on the other hand, all studious, or we might say scholarly, study of the Bible by Christians should properly be an act of worship and devotion to God. And should involve a profound listening to what the serious scholarly study of this text is saying to us. And how that might inform our lives. 
Uh, clearly, uh, when it comes to leading Bible studies, one has to be careful to, uh, to adjust or accommodate the level of teaching to the capacity of the students. 在查经方面，我们首先必须要呃将这个呃查查经的这个难度等级要根据我们呃听众的学生的能力来调整。So uh, 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 I could say more about this, but perhaps that will be enough for just now. 嗯，呃，因为时间的关系，所以我就回答到这里。Okay, so you. I'm open to any questions that might be coming in. Thank you, Dr. Bauer. Uh, I appreciate what you have just taught us. Uh, uh, we will be, uh, we would like you to stay on uh, until the, the meeting is over because we wanted to let you have a chance to see all of us face to face. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, I would say a few words of what you just taught us uh, and then uh, we will go on. Um, 今天我们听到巴尔博士的这个 主题的分享啊，啊，我想强调一点，就是鲍尔博士在解释这个归纳式眼睛的时候，他不是把归纳式眼睛看作是一个方法，或者是重方法中的一个方法，他很强烈的、很呃相信归纳式眼睛是一个